So, uh, good morning, uh, everybody, especially uh, those whom I haven't met personally yet uh, this morning. Uh, and my presentation will be divided uh, as follows. First of all, I would like to inform you about uh, the current possibilities regarding, uh, and namely financial possibilities regarding uh, energy efficiency and then energy efficiency uh, improvement possibilities in Latvia. Uh, secondly, I would like uh, to turn to the information uh, acquired from the latest uh, energy efficiency monitoring report, and this will also give us some uh, interesting features regarding uh, different energy consumption sectors. And um, my final slide, or my conclusive slide, will be devoted uh, to the uh, package of ideas uh, uh, we have proposed in uh, uh, the new energy strategy document till uh, 2030, and it uh, and those proposals they go very much in line with uh, with the energy efficiency directive of which uh, we of course we are aware when working on energy strategy paper. But uh, first, I would like to uh, spend uh, some time some time on uh, showing you why energy efficiency is uh, that important and, and that attractive. Because it um, influences uh, nearly every direction of, an, of energy policy development you can imagine. And uh, uh, when uh, studying the possible uh, energy sector development scenarios, uh, uh, I was very curious to learn that, uh, in fact, the scenario where we work on energy efficiency improvement uh, finally appears to be uh, the most feasible, the most uh, financially effective way to uh, achieve our energy efficiency targets and at the same time uh, minimize the financial needs for achieving uh, our other targets. And. Uh, and uh, these are the features we have to take into account when uh, uh, looking at uh, today's energy situation in the world. And um, uh, I think I would be right if I would say that uh, increasing of energy efficiency would help at uh, nearly uh, any, uh, any of those points. Uh, there could be different approaches to energy efficiency and its uh, standards for appliances, uh, which uh, is uh, solved by energy labeling and eco design uh, requirements. Then uh, uh, these are buildings uh, uh, and energy services, which are a powerful, uh, powerful tool for removing uh, an efficient product for the market uh, uh, to make our residential sector more more effective and, uh, and comfortable. And in Latvian situation, uh, the residential sector is the one which uh, has the greatest potential for energy savings. But uh, I will turn to it in uh, one of my next slides. Uh, and financial activities which are uh, available at the current moment, uh, they are financed uh, mostly by the EU funds, uh, as well as the um, instrument which is called the Climate Change Financial Instrument. And the, uh, the financial income uh, to this uh, instrument is acquired uh, mostly from uh, selling, uh, selling leftover emission quarters, which uh, I think is something similar that was mentioned by a colleague from Estonia. Uh, and one of the activities is improvement of energy performance uh, in a uh, residential area, in uh, its multi-apartment uh, houses, and the overall financing which has been available for this activity is uh, equal to about 68 uh, million euros. And uh, uh, at the current moment, uh, uh, Ministry has, uh, has received some uh, 1,087 project applications and uh, 436 uh, agreements are concluded uh, and, uh, at, at the moment. And uh, soon, a new call for the proposals will be launched uh, for the remaining uh, amount of uh, this financing. And this program will run till uh, uh, all the available money will be exhausted. 
starting from uh, 2010, the uh, Ministry of Economics, together with uh, the partners, uh, conducts the in informing uh, campaign, uh, with the title of which could be translated as Let's Live Warmer. And the goal of uh, this information campaign is uh, to uh, inform inform owners owners uh, of those buildings about uh, possibilities of this activity. Uh, the second one I want to mention is uh, activity related to improvement uh, of uh, energy uh, performance in uh, social houses. The available uh, available money for that is uh, consider considerably uh, lower. But uh, also the uh, aim of the program is to increase energy efficiency of uh, a so-called social residential fund, which is owned by, by municipalities. Uh, thirdly, uh, it's, it is improvement of uh, uh, district heating systems efficiency. Uh, and uh, the amount of uh, available finance for that was uh, 78 uh, million euros. Uh, and uh, the aim of this uh, activity is to increase uh, 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 efficiency of uh, district heating systems and uh, to minimize uh, heat losses in uh, transmission and uh, distributed distribution, as well as to foster um, uh, transformation from uh, fossil fuels to renewable, uh, renewable fu fuels in, uh, in district heating. Uh, and uh, the fourth activity is uh, activity which is performed by means of uh, climate change financial instrument uh, is uh, oriented uh, mostly to uh, companies companies uh, uh, registered in Latvia in order to allow them to carry out energy efficiency uh, activities. Uh, also, uh, the mm, uh, the schools uh, and, uh, and colleges can apply for this financing uh, in order to improve uh, energy efficiency of, uh, of, their, uh, of their buildings and uh, transformation from fossil fuels to, uh, to renewable energies. Uh, the total available uh, mm, financing in, in, in this call for proposals uh, is about uh, 23 million euros and the max, maximum uh, available uh, amount for one project uh, is about, um, uh, say, uh, uh, one, one, one million euro. Uh, there is a strong uh, correlation between uh, GDP total primary uh, energy consumption and final en energy consumption. Uh, we can see that uh, in the period from uh, 2000 till uh, 2007, uh, GDP uh, grew uh, significantly faster uh, uh, than uh, energy consumption. Uh, and it was uh, influenced also by energy efficiency measures in all the, in all the segments. However, positive examples, and uh, I could uh, name that of the Denmark, uh, those positive examples, they show that uh, uh, in the countries where energy efficiency level is uh, pretty high, it is possible to have, uh, uh, to still achieve increase of uh, GDP uh, and maintain the, the same level of, uh, of energy consumption. Uh, here uh, it is uh, the data about expected uh, energy savings in uh, multi-apartment buildings, and uh, those are estimates uh, which, um, uh, which are submitted by the project uh, applicants. Uh, however, uh, we see that uh, in uh, certain cases the real, real energy savings, they are twice as big as estimated before. And, uh, this could lead uh, us to the conclusion that uh, not in all cases the uh, mm, results of uh, energy audits uh, have, been, have been really precise. Uh, uh, the analysis of uh, uh, 
of projects carried out in uh, multi-residential buildings show that the most uh, most of the projects they achieve the energy saving uh, somewhere between uh, 35 and uh, 55 uh, 55 percent. Uh, the graph shows uh, uh, energy which is uh, consumed uh, for uh, for heating uh, uh, in uh, in households. Uh, However, uh, the trend uh, is positive. However, we expect uh, to move uh, to move uh, further and uh, uh, achieve uh, the level of uh, uh, 100 uh, uh, kilowatt hours per square meter by by 2030. And uh, I think that uh, this uh, goal is uh, achievable if uh, if uh, we will uh, continue our uh, uh, our programs and even add some clever and smart measures on top of them. Uh, some uh, figures which uh, describe uh, other sectors, and uh, namely it is uh, transport, uh, which is the second uh, uh, largest en energy consuming sector in uh, our country and accounts for roughly um, uh, one third of uh, final energy consumption. Uh, the 40% uh, of uh, transportation services uh, uh, in, in the country have been uh, provided by, by, by vehicle transport. The rest is uh, railway. And uh, uh, concerning uh, inland vehicle transport, some 90% of, uh, of, uh, of all was, uh, was uh, uh, domestic, uh, domestic transportation services. Till uh, 2009, the uh, tendency which uh, was shown was uh, rather, rather favorable. However, in uh, 2010, this favorable tendency stopped and uh, it's uh, difficult for me right now to explain the reasons for that, but uh, partly it could be related also to uh, fluctuating uh, fuel prices and, uh, and also the fluctuations in uh, numbers of uh, of uh, car park. Then uh, it's uh, it's a service sector which accounts for 50 percent, and uh, it shows also some rather interesting features uh, because uh, uh, during the economic crisis, the uh, number of employees in uh, this uh, service sector, which includes uh, the um, uh, Educational establishments includes also the state institutions were reduced uh, in different cases from uh, 10 to 25 percent. But at the same time, we noticed that uh, the uh, consumption of energy has been reduced only by 10 percent. Uh, that uh, describes pretty much the pattern of energy consumption uh, in, uh, in, 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 in this sector. And uh, at the same time, uh, the uh, uh, consumption of uh, electricity went up, uh, but consumption of heat went down. So, and uh, finally, it's the industry sector. And uh, here, the interesting thing is related to wood processing uh, industry and its efficiency. If uh, all other industry sectors some show some slight increase in terms of energy efficiency, uh, wood processing becomes uh, more and more energy intensive. I don't know whether it's related to energy efficiency or whether uh, it's related to additional uh, mm, additional works and services uh, uh, the enterprises uh, undertake to uh, add the value to their project. And uh, finally, uh, finally, it's the goal uh, from the energy strategy 2030 I mentioned is to reduce average heat consumption till. Uh, 100 uh, kilowatt hours per square meter per year. And uh, there are some, some uh, offers uh, we, uh, we have made or we have uh, made available for discussion uh, to reach that goal. And uh, they include increased uh, minimum performance for uh, new buildings and for the existing ones, and also support to energy efficiency measures. Uh, as well as uh, introduction of smart metering in order for uh, for the residents to control and to acknowledge their energy consumption patterns. 
Uh, then, uh, energy efficiency requirements for district heating companies uh, in order to reach the target of 10% uh, losses by uh, 2030. Uh, then, uh, we would uh, like also to turn new customers to connect uh, uh, their houses to efficient district heating systems where they are available and, on the other hand, prohibit disconnection from, uh, from uh, district heating systems uh, in the regions where uh, they are available. Then there are mandatory energy audits, uh, uh, including also the industrial energy audits. Uh, of course, it's uh, green procurement, first, firstly in uh, state institutions and uh, municipalities, as well as leading and directing uh, role of the state, uh, first and foremost by means of informing and by means of uh, exercising uh, efficient, uh, efficient and green procurements in uh, state institutions. Uh, I wouldn't spend much time on this uh, last slide, but uh, these are challenges which new en energy efficiency directive poses on us, but uh, this I think is familiar to most of you. Thank you. Uh, my name is Gennady Gramberg, uh, Tallinn City Environment Department. I would like to ask you to share with us some information about involvement of local authorities, municipalities in this uh, um, in these issues. As I know, in Riga, they very actively participated in a covenant of mayors, and uh, <clears throat> in order to achieve this, uh, uh, the aims of to uh, three, 12 percent uh, challenges. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, however, this uh, situation is uh, really different from municipality to municipality. Of course, you mentioned Riga, and uh, there are several other municipalities which are worth to mention and which are really active in, uh, in trying to reach this target, and uh, they have even uh, set uh, their energy efficiency plans and I know that uh, in Riga city uh, uh, the municipality has used uh, its right uh, which is provided by law to define territories uh, which are allowed only for the district heatings for the district heating and where the uh, new uh, new buildings can uh, use only this mean of heating. But uh, then uh, there are uh, other examples which are not that fortunate and uh, we very often uh, we uh, meet uh, we meet the representatives of municipalities who do not really acknowledge the role and importance of uh, municipalities in uh, the um, energy efficiency process and uh, and of course uh, the, the first thing they are asking about is uh, how much the state will pay to the municipality to achieve those targets. Thank you. I think uh, we should say thank you to you thank and you. continue in the program.